Good afternoon. This is Craig once again from ICT. This is the follow-up video to the one posted earlier, uh, updating your firmware for your 58CR thermal printer. This will be the second step. As mentioned, you will now need to use a new ticket uh, format tool as the older version will no longer function with the updated unit firmware. So if you haven't gotten that from us, um, you can go to our main website and download that at your convenience. So our website is www.ictgroup.com.tw. Navigate up to our product section and at the bottom under printer. The GP58 series, 2 inch. Go ahead and click on the printer uh, picture. There will be a yellow download button in the middle of the page. Click that once. Then finally, at the bottom of this final page, you'll see user's tool smart printer version 2020. Go ahead and click that once and it'll Start the download. Um, this will be the new uh, ticket tool that you um, will be using. So up at the top here, downloads, you can see. Go ahead and click that once. That will open up the, the zip archive. So you can just double click on this one, this file. If you're running Windows 8, 10, or 11, you may get this prompt. It just indicates that we didn't uh, pay Microsoft to do uh, application signing. So to them, that makes everyone unsafe. If they haven't collected money from you as a, as a company, then you're not safe. So, which is kind of bogus. So you can just click on more information and run anyway because it's coming from us, a legitimate source, so there's no risk. Go ahead and hit yes on the user access control prompt saying that you want to run this program. At the bottom here, click install. Once that's finished, go ahead and click on the Finish button. You can go ahead and close this window as well as your web browser. We are finished with that. It should have added a new shortcut to your desktop, Smart Printer. Go ahead and double click on that. If it prompts you for the user access control, uh, go ahead and click Yes. You will need administrator access from now on to run this tool. That is an issue made from Microsoft as the um, application libraries that we're using previously, that was Visual Basic. You did not need administrator access to run Visual Basic programs and uh, interact with COM ports. With this new software, it was made with the, the Windows.NET framework which does require administrator access to talk to your external COM ports. So that is the reason why you will need administrator access every time you run this tool. <clears throat> when you do run this tool, it will auto um, talk to all of your COM ports that you have, and it should automatically find your printer if you uh, leave it for long enough. Um, if not, you can select your COM port and um, it should find it manually. But when you do actually connect the, for the first time, uh, as you would in the previous tool, it will ask you if your time and date differs uh, widely from your date on your computer. It'll ask you, do you want to match your date and time with your computer? 
to set on your printer? If so, go ahead and click yes. And it will also ask you to delete all your old records. This is your old audit records, such as your daily reports, um, your total ticket values. Most people clear these records once they um, are con configuring their, their ticket formats as this is usually going into a different location and you want to just clear out your records to be sure that it's uh, zeroed. So once that is uh, finished, setting your date and time, you'll see this main window here showing that you are indeed connected to your COM port, which on this particular laptop is COM4. It may be different based on your um, particular in, uh, environment and computer. So you'll want to double check that. Next down here would be the second tab under layout. This new tool and firmware version allow you to download the formats that are already stored on the printer to allow you to make any changes or um, alterations without having to completely redo all your formats. So you can do that with load from printer button. It will load all your logos, your coin note, and payout formats. And basically show you all your formats that you have here saved in each of the um, ticket channel, the payout channel, note channel, and coin channel. As you make your changes here on the right side of the screen, they'll be made in real time. So as you're typing, they'll show up here on the left. So that'll give you a preview of your ticket um, as you're typing it so you don't have to um, print out uh, a test print every time that you make a change to verify that your settings are indeed correct. Once you do make your um, appropriate changes on, this, uh, on the right side, you'll need to save your changes. They're not saved in real time, so once you do edit your uh, your payout uh, ticket format, for example, you would go down here to save to printer and save payout ticket format. That will save your multiplier, your decimal settings, all of your um, ticket formats specifically for your payout. Now, if you need to set custom multipliers or uh, decimal settings, that's done here in um, on line four uh, or any of your data lines that you have configured in your ticket. So your multiplier um, by default is a one-to-one. -one. Um, change those accordingly if you use those two options in your, um, in your establishment. The third menu item just to take note of is the configuration area. Once you download your ticket formats from your printer, it also downloads any of your stored configuration options. Um, most people are running payout tickets only, so you would turn off the coin and note, keep payout enabled, and we generally set concentration to two. What concentration is, is how dark it's going to print your text on the um, thermal paper. Um, two seems to be dark enough for all the different various paper types. You can adjust that if need be, um, but two has been relatively good here in our testing. So once you set all these options in your configuration screen, at the bottom here, you would click apply. All those ch changes that you have here will be reflected on the right, which is the active printer configuration, which are now saved with the values that we just um, configured here. I like to go into the habit of always returning back to the home tab before changing to a different printer, just so we, you're uh, back at square one. You go. Um, some people have mentioned the newest version button here. This is a feature that we're still uh, implementing. Uh, it's not 100% complete yet. So um, in the interim, 
when you click this button, it will call upon our um, Taiwan servers and check for any latest updates for um, your printers. This tool also works for the SP1 printers um, this, in the same kind of uh, manner. The SP1 uses also a, another tool for its ticket formats. So that one is going to be um, the all-in-one tool, which um, is mainly for all the, the different models of SP1. But for CRs, you would use um, only have to use the smart printer tool and make all your changes within this one tool and not have to go over to a different one. So as of that, your printer should be configured and ready to go with all your um, new edits and formats. If for any reason you are still stuck um, after watching these two videos, feel free to give us a call in our California office and one of our, our tech support agents will be happy to um, talk to you and see what's going on. Thanks and have a day.